I wanted to do a little uh, thought today and then uh, to pray about a couple of things as well. And I'm just going to start off uh, reading something and it's from the Bible. It's in the Gospel of Luke and it's in chapter 20 and uh, just starting um, from verse 21. Uh, so there's some guys who are coming to check out Jesus and to try and trip him up, basically. And uh, so it says, um, so the spies questioned him. So there are people who are kind of spying and just trying to trip him up, really. Um, so the spies questioned him. Teacher, we know that you speak and teach what is right and that you do not show partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it right for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? He saw through their duplicity and said to them, Show me a denarius, whose portrait and inscription are on it. Caesar's, they replied. He said to them, Then give to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. And they were unable to trap him in what he said there in public. And astonished by his answer, they became silent. Um, so these folks sent to try and catch Jesus into a little bit of a trap and they're out to um, just get him to get caught in that trap between obedience to authority, obedience to the powers that be and obedience to God and for, the, for them at that time that was a big deal because uh, they weren't particularly favourable to the people in authority, they didn't feel that they were the rightful people to be in charge of the of the of the whole situation, the nation, and uh, they also resented quite a lot about how ta taxation happened. They resented um, the method and the way in which went the stuff, you know, was was going on and where it was done, and those who were siding with the Romans and were colluding with them and so on. Um, so not unlike today, we have tensions with uh, how people deal with uh, government authority figures guidance legislation covid rules um taxes um we can't really escape taxes and death you know is the old saying isn't it but um these things uh, do tend to kind of chase us um taxation is something that's uh not particularly the most popular thing but it's uh, essential for running uh running the system uh, not always running it fairly, but basically for running it. Anyway, so I just felt it'd be good to uh, just have a moment to pray. And I want to pray particularly for everybody at the moment who is trying to struggle with quite difficult questions about how they obey rules and how they deal with rules and how they deal with government and all that sort of stuff and uh, I pray for great wisdom for us uh, we often feel slightly caught in the middle that we feel caught those who would want to trip us up and quickly accuse us for getting it wrong doing the wrong things maybe we have great frustrations ourselves with how things operate and understanding what the rules are and what perhaps what to do and what not to do uh, and not to get caught up in uh, in in these things too much that they become almost you know tying us up in knots. So, but I just want to pray for wisdom for us. I pray for wisdom for those who are uh, trying to deal with those things in the workplace. They're trying to deal with those things with churches. They're trying to deal with those things in their everyday life. Those who are concerned and worried about their well being and the well being of their loved ones. Those who are fearful those who have got real struggles with uh, getting on and dealing with the real things of life and feeling caught in a bit of Catch-22, feeling caught in how stuff should be done. I just pray for wisdom. I pray for God's peace. And I pray too that there be a real sense of freedom and liberty to to do the things that we do need to do, but without living in fear and without uh, getting kind of trapped in uh, a wrong understanding of authority. 
And for those as well who today are dealing with things like their their taxes, dealing with stuff like their uh, issues of payment of bills, dealing with issues that really cut into their financial situation. I want to pray for those who are struggling about finance. Um, maybe you see this and you've got some challenges on the financial front. Maybe some real practical things which are impacting your life right now. Or your business or or a church that you're involved with or, you know, family finances. Um, or you've got somebody close to you who's really getting into problems with debt. And I just want to pray for great wisdom right now, for wisdom to find the help and support that you need, but also that in a sense it'd be a moment where you also can call on God, ask him for his strength, his His way out, his way forward. Uh, there's a great organisation uh, my friends are involved with a little bit called Christians Against Poverty, CAP, C-A-P. Um, they do uh, help with debt. I know that's a big issue where I live, the area in Bristol where I live, uh, debt and problems with money can be a big issue, can be leading people to be in a very, very difficult spot and families struggling with basic needs at times uh, where money goes really thin and there's no food in the cupboard. So I just want to pray for those who are going through really tough things, maybe big financial questions about how to manage money, how to manage not only tax stuff but also inheritance other issues around your financial situation that you might be struggling with and you know it says in the book of james in the bible if we ask god for wisdom he will give it to us um uh, those maybe there, there are there are those uh, big needs big financial demands and drains that you're experiencing now and you don't know what to do about them so i just pray for you now that you'll know uh God's wisdom, also amazing miracles for provision. I just want to pray for a real uh, significant shift in people's challenges about finance as well. Because God cares about all our needs. And I think financial issues are one of the issues that cuts deep into the heart of our relationships, deep in the heart of our our personal sort of sense of, of well-being and uh, peace of mind can really affect people a great deal so you know jesus came uh and he met the disciples he met people where they were at in their everyday lives peter had a tax debt and it was a miracle that provided for that so that things can be done properly maybe there's bills or uh needs things that you know need to get paid for but you're not sure where the money's coming from at the moment so i pray for God's provision and that tension of feeling that you've got responsibilities you'd rather not put the money into those things which really to be honest frustrate you the costs and the kind of you know the demands that are on you which you don't want to be pouring money into so I just pray for wisdom wherever debts are they're mounting that God would really help you to you know, how to manage those properly to be able to get better interest or to sort out get help where you need it and uh get some debts released as well so i really pray for that i pray for wisdom just that you know god's control over a financial situation wherever it feels like it's not in control you know god really does care about our real practical needs and he wants to be involved he wants us to allow him to be involved in these areas of our lives um and then he can give wisdom what to do. And, you know, sometimes we need a miracle something to change because we feel it's, you know, we're not able to resolve all the problems. And sometimes we just need to make the right decisions as well, which is not always straightforward. It's easy to make all sorts of decisions, but it's not always easy to make the right decisions, especially in an area like finance. So I just pray for great wisdom for all of us who who deal with finance and as I don't think there's I don't think there's many adults who like to see this who don't deal with finance in some form or other in their personal life. So um may God give us wisdom in amazing ways.
And may we see miracles. May we see encouragement to say, like, God really stepped into this situation in my life. I saw something shift and change, and I didn't know what to do. But I saw uh, an amazing change, and I saw God's provision. I saw him at work. Uh, so may that be your experience, too. And and I certainly have known times, many times, when I've really seen God's provision in incredible ways. I've seen his wisdom come in to know what to do in him help me through patches where I had really got my stuff myself in quite a stuck place quite a difficult place and so I can say that you know God has really helped us uh, and continues to help us um, and he, he can be trusted um, so so I just pray to finish and I just Lord we surrender over to you all our circumstances all our financial circumstances particularly we entrust those into your hands. We pray for your wisdom. I ask for every person who might see this that you would speak to their heart right now and give them understanding what to do with the challenges that they might face. In a very real way, in a very tangible way, they will see you at work in this area of their life, which is probably one of the, the toughest ones to get right. And the toughest ones to get in a in a healthy place uh, where we just need this healthy uh, relationship in the way we see resources and money and stuff. So I just pray for God's peace right now. I pray for God's power to be at work right now, and you will experience uh, a tremendous uh, a story of, of how God intervened, how God worked, how God stepped in into situations that you felt were way beyond you. Bless you. Okay, I hope that helps.